What are the herd share driver goals? Because each member's effort has such a big impact on the odors, how well the group runs, and even the host home. Missed items can cause hassles, extra accounting and billing efforts, as well as even extra driving. And so a little bit of education goes a long ways. And these are all very easy to apply steps. The goal of the herd chair driver is to pick up accurately all the items printed in the order summary of that week's order, take reasonable measures to keep the items cold, and bring the food back promptly to the host home. Mark your calendar for your day to drive as it may be months off and consider setting a reminder on your phone or really whatever works for you so that you will remember. Can I take any car? Remember that you will need to have space for at least 12 to 15 milk crates. A smaller car can often work, but you may not be able to take passengers once you load up. Before heading out to the farm, please pick up the checks, crates, and any bags, bottles, egg cartons, etc. that are by the host home fridge. Once you're all loaded up and ready to go, text Paul your approximate ETA. And then relax and enjoy your drive. After all, you are exercising your legal rights to choose your own food. You are influencing others in your life and the group. You're literally changing the world by voting with your dollars. And every dollar spent locally on responsible, chemical-free, healthy food is helping your health and changing our future for the better. When you arrive at the farm, pull up and park by the main building. Unload the crates and neatly stack them between the trailers. Ideally, hand the checks in a container to Paul. If somebody is filling in, put them on his desk where he will be sure to see them. Place bottles, bags, etc. in the appropriate places. And if possible, help Paul by organizing them while you're waiting. If you do not see him yet, you can text him again, but also consider that he might be doing other critical things and is on his way to meet you. Help Paul load the car. If you have a deep trunk area and can stack crates safely without them falling over, then you can stack frozen food above the dairy. In fact, that is the preferred way to keep dairy cool. The goal here is to place the items together as closely as possible and then cover all the crates. This will help keep the items much cooler longer. This is particularly important in the summer. I have seen gallons of milk come back lukewarm and it's unnecessary because a little preparation and forethought will go a long ways to keeping the dairy cooler and thus giving it a longer shelf life for each member. Also give a quick check to the caps to ensure that they are sealed but use caution not to over tighten as they can pop off. Ideally, study each crate as you load it in your car and compare it to the summary order on the sheet. The summary area on the order detail sheet is the holy grail of the order. Please make sure you go through every single item and do not leave until you have verified that you have gotten the right number of food items as listed in the order detail summary. It might seem overwhelming, but it only takes a minute to do this critical step. Note, be careful also of abbreviations such as pint, first gallon, etc. A small text can mean a big difference in food and cause headaches for Paul and other members. So again, take your time, carefully study the order detail and compare it to what you are bringing back. Your goal, again, is to come back to the host home with every single item listed in the summary section of the order form. Keep in mind that sometimes the order might be short. It's okay as long as you check with Paul or whoever is helping fill the order that this is all they have for today. And they will always try their best to meet the demand that they can. Now it's time to cover the food as the clock is now ticking. 
Please take the order summary sheet with you and head promptly back to the host home and load it in the fridge. Congratulations. Your attention to these details will be greatly appreciated by each herd chair member and by the Yoders. If you want to do activities such as seeing the cows, chickens, or pigs, etc., please ask Paul before he pulls food out of the fridge. It is most appreciated that once you start loading the food, the clock is ticking, the food is now warming, and you now have limited time. Please make every attempt to drive straight to the host home after the food is loaded. As soon as you know you have a serious schedule conflict, simply look at the schedule and find the Saturday that you can drive, and then text or email that person to see if they can switch. Sometimes they can't switch, so you may have to try another date. But try your best to find the replacement and then let the host home know so that they can update the schedule.